purpose of this short video is to introduce you to our uh, solar pump system. It's uh, somewhat unique. We've combined uh, two technologies to give uh, the owner uh, a lot of opportunities. So maybe just look at the two technologies. So if a farmer wants to pump or anyone wants to pump water and there's load shedding, you need some sort of a system. And basically you've got two options. The one option is a hybrid system with batteries that will produce the energy to run the pump. It's expensive, there's advantages and disadvantages. Uh, and secondly, you can use a solar variable speed drive, which will take the solar energy, it will convert it into AC energy without the battery. So you don't need a battery for the solution. That system has got advantages, so you can run when the grid is off. Other advantage is you can also connect the grid to it, so at night you can use that same system to run the pumps, and during the day the system will give preference to the solar. So the solar will also get, always get preference to carry the pump load. <clears throat> In order to get pumping time out of the system during a, a solar only operation, we usually size the panels double the capacity of the pump. So this is a 7.5 kilowatt pump. The panels are 15 kilowatts. So you pretty much double. So when the pump is running midday, you're drawing 7.5 kilowatts from the panels. The other 7.5 kilowatts, unfortunately, is wasted. And that's the major disadvantage of a solar pump. So you're wasting that energy because you're putting more panels on to be able to get longer pumping time. So typically, you can only get 60% out of the energy of the panels. That's all you can consume with a pump if you run the pump all the time. So it's quite inefficient from a solar pump or solar perspective. Another option is the one on my left, it's a grid tight system. So grid tight means the inverter sits on the grid, it needs the grid to be on to run. If the grid is off, it's off. That's the major disadvantage. But the major advantage is the grid tight inverter can draw every single kilowatt hour from the 15 kilowatt solar panel array. It will give the pump 7.5 kilowatts and run the pump. And the additional 7.5 kilowatts, it will push back to the ESCOM meter. We won't export depending on the agreement with ESCOM. And that energy is then available, the solar energy is available for other loads on the farm. So it will give preference to the solar to carry, carry the loads and if there's a shortfall it will pull in ESCOM as needed. So you actually use 100% of the energy that's available at the array. Disadvantage, if the grid is off, grid tight inverter goes off, you've got nothing. In South Africa with ESCOM being unreliable unfortunately at this stage it happens quite often 14 to 20 percent of the time the grid is off load shedding two to three your grid tight inverter won't drive your pump and you'll sit without power no power from ESCOM no power from the solar panels although the solar panels are, are waving at you so what we did is we married the two solutions so our system works as follows if the grid is on the grid tight inverter will pull all 15 kilowatts from the panels it will make 7.5 kilowatts available for the motor if you drive the motor, the pump motor. If you don't drive the pump motor, all 15 kilowatts will be available for other loads. If the grid goes down, we're on standby mode. We will start this control panel. The control panel will then run in solar VSD mode and it will generate its own AC for the pump. It will run the pump, 7.5 kilowatts, all for the 15 kilowatt panel array. In a standby mode, you'll be able to run your pump five hours, five and a half hours in the winter, eight hours in summer. <clears throat> if the grid comes on seamlessly, it will turn to grid time mode again, and it will, ex ex it will run the pump seamlessly. You won't even notice if the grid comes on, and it will export the additional energy again via the live grid, carry your loads on the farm. So we just found this is a major advantage. This farm owner already sees the advantage. So he's not using 60% of his panels, he's using 100%. His payback is about between two and a half and three years. And uh, already his ESCO meter is running much, much slower. So when the pump is off, running other loads. If the pump is running, additional energy is used for other loads. If ESCO goes down, uh, these the solar motor pump drive starts up and it runs the pump. So this system can be run small scale, 7.5 kilowatts, like this one, with 15 kilowatts of solar panels. 
but even megawatt size. So later this year we're doing a 300 kilowatt solar array with 145 kilowatts of uh, pumps. It's actually more than one pump, so we can drive more than one pump with this system. And um, it's a major advantage in terms of payback and investment uh, because you're basically getting access to 40, the additional or the 40% that's lost with a solar pump drive. You actually get access to that energy as well, helping you to get the payback much quicker the normal normal solar pump solution. So the pump is running in grid mode, grid light mode, and the uh, load shedding kicks in. So the system, the grid light system will switch off as per regulation. And uh, this solar pump VSD will now start up slowly. It takes a few seconds. We'll start pulling in the solar and start the pump and run the pump without the grid, completely off grid mode. So this is ideal scenario for, for load shedding risk mitigation. The system will run and uh, we're simulating so the grid is now coming in again. So there the grid comes in and it's moved over from solar pump mode over to grid type mode again. And this is typically how the system will run.